Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create Howl in your mesh using curves. For, firstly, you need to enable the add curve extra objects. Go edit them preferences, then search for add curve. Add curve. And the search for extra object or extra objects like this is gonna be it's over there so check it like this to enable it to build in add-on refresh so click on shift a over curve go go to the bottom search for a rectangle i'm gonna be adding a rectangle and do we have extra objects for a curve like this, just I want to use a rectangle in our example over there. Click on rectangle. Tap to this mode, just we need to delete a cube. After adding this uh, shape uh, using uh, curves, it's a rectangle. While still in it, it is mode like this. Press Shift A and add circle. Shift A. Let's add the circle like this. You can scale the circle by pressing S. Hit S, then scale it uh, inward just a tiny bit. Move it by pressing G. Also, you can move it by pressing G like this. By pressing Shift D, you can duplicate the circle. Shift D, you can duplicate the circle like this and hit S to scale it just a tiny bit. Then G to grab it along the x-axis, just uh, place it over over here. To add some thickness, increase uh, the extrude value of the rectangle. Click on this uh, part over there. So. So if you want to increase the thickness, just go over the curve object uh, data properties like this and go to geometry. So let's extrude it like this and that's very amazing. So we can set the offset if you want like this. And use this extrude tool and drag the slider to the right in order to Extrude and you have got this uh, shape using just curves and uh, and done. Go back to object mode. Just to need to click on the left mouse on the right mouse button. Not to show this menu. Okay, we need to convert it to a mesh like this. Tap to edit mode. It's gonna be showing the geometry and the topology. Showing it uh, created using triangles. You can also clean it up using some tools or a quadrimeasure or something like that. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.